Welcome back to Middle Earth Quest. This is going to be Argolad's turn, <clears throat> but I do have a correction from Sauron's eighth turn. Uh, I had mistakenly, well, I guess I did it on purpose, but it was a mistake. Sauron had placed influence in Rosgabel and the Bite, uh, and then I had moved a monster token on Eleanor's turn from Lake Esgaroth to the Iron Hills where there was no influence tokens. So to kind of retroactively fix the error, we're going to take the influence from Rosgabel and we would have placed it here at the Forest Road. And the one that was placed at the Bite would have been placed on the Iron Hills, allowing that monster token to move. And all is good. All right, so that um, corrects that little error. So just to refresh the rules, you cannot move a monster token into a location that has no influence and you cannot place a monster token into an area that has no influence. All right, let's get on to Argolad's turn. He is up here with the Mouth of Sauron and Dane II at the Forest Road. All right, so the first thing we do at the hero step is rest, that he cannot rest because he is in the same space as the Mouth of Sauron, so he is not going to be able to. He only has one card left in his life pool, so he's down uh, pretty low. And of course, the next thing then is the ambush step, and indeed, he will be ambushed by the Mouth of Sauron. Now, the Mouth of Sauron only has one hit point left. However, uh, he will probably be able to do some damage uh, before Argolad possibly takes him out for good. All right, so I'm going to set them up for that ambush attack, and then we'll get to it. All right, so here we have the Mouth of Sauron beaten up pretty badly, and we have also a beaten up Argolad. <clears throat> so the Mouth of Sauron is going to be drawing uh, cards from this deck, and he has a fortitude of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six cards for him. Uh, and he has a strength of six uh, and a wisdom of two. And of course it says at the start of battle, the hero draws a corruption card. So poor Argolad here must take a corruption card for starting a battle with the Mouth of Sauron. And it is distraught. You may never have more than seven hero cards in your hand. Well, I think for Argolad, that's not going to be an issue. However, he does now have that corruption, uh, as well as being cowardly. And it says, at the start of each future combat that you were involved in, you must discard one random hero card. So just That was the last corruption he got uh, battling Mouth of Sauron. So we're going to have to have him randomly discard one of his, he only has six cards uh, right now. So let's go over to his area and get him ready for combat, and then we'll randomly discard the one card. Okay, so let's drop uh, Argolad's cards here for this battle. He only has one card in his life pool, and he has Distraught, which means he can never have more than seven hero cards in his hand at any one time anyway. Um... And he's cowardly, so he must discard one card at the start of battle. Well, he has a strength of five and agility of three. So he's going to draw one card. That's going to take him to his maximum of seven cards because he's distraught. And now we're just going to gather up all the cards and he's going to randomly, uh, we're going to randomly shuffle them and he's going to lose one before the start of battle. So he's basically agility three, drew one card. So he's gonna have a strength of seven for this battle. So let's see, this one is gone. Quick shot, <clears throat> leaving him these cards. So let's go over to the battle area and we'll start the battle, the final showdown between Argolad and the Mouth of Sauron. All right, so the Mouth of Sauron has organized his cards for battle. And now it is up to Argolad to play his cards for battle. Um, what do we have here? So I think he's going to start off with a volley. It gives him two defense, two attack. And this is next round gain plus two attack if you play a ranged card. So he's going to go ahead for two strength and play a starting volley against the Mouth of Sauron. Mouth of Sauron plays Smash, which is one defense. Reduce your opponent's printed defense to zero. So Argolad's printed defense instead of two is going to be zero. Um, however, the Mouth of Sauron only has one shield. Argolad deals him two damage, which means Mouth of Sauron takes one damage. That takes him to nine hit points of damage, and the Mouth of Sauron is defeated by Argolad. However, Argolad must also take two damage, so he has to remove... Uh, into his damage pool, two cards from his hand, 
he will do a fallback. Uh, what does he want to keep? A fallback and the precision go into his damage pool, leaving him three cards. However, he did totally and utterly defeat the mouth of Sauron. So that's one feather in Argolad's vacationing cap. All right, let's go back to the main board and we'll continue Argolad's turn. All right, Argolad, having finished off the mouth of Sauron, uh, is going to do an explore in the forest road location to start with. Uh, and he is going to encounter Dane 2 or Dane the second. Uh, and he can either train twice or take two influence or sorry, two favor tokens. He is going to collect two favor tokens because we're getting near the end game. And of course, as we know, the heroes need a collective five favor tokens to win if their uh, token story token reaches the end finale first. All right, so that's what Argolad does here in the Forest Road. He does not have enough favor tokens, though, to get rid of uh, the number one plot, which would be a promise of rings, because a promise of rings needs three favor tokens to remove it, so it will remain in play. Hero's not too worried, though, at this point in time. Um, and now it is time for Argolad to hit the road. He only has three cards left. He is just going to do... Oh, he cannot rest there. Interesting. All right. He is going to spend a forest card and move over to... No, he doesn't want to do that. He's going to move over to Lake Asgaroth. And there's a reason why he is going to do that. Um, and then he is actually going to spend his second last card and move all the way to Rune, which is this connect in here. And he's going to end his turn there in the nice sunny vacation spot of Rune uh, with one card left in his hand and no cards in his life pool. Okay, that's going to end his movement. And now the last thing he gets, of course, is an encounter. And he is over here in the brown lands and so he's going to have an encounter from this deck. So he takes the top three cards, and we're going to look at the lowest number numbered card that applies. And we have any location, any location, all three any locations. So he's going to be looking at the number six, any location. And it is the Olog High. The troll swung about wildly, battering friend and foe alike. Spears snapped against its thick hide and shields wilted like paper under its blows. Wow, this is not good. It was caught between a pile of slag and the charging monstrosity. I was caught between a pile of slag and the charging monstrosity. When it saw me there trapped, it howled with glee. So Argolad not only has to battle the mouth of Sauron, he is now up against an Olag High, a giant battle troll. Your hero is dealt eight damage. <laughs> well, I think we know where Argolad's going to end up, and that's in the emergency ward at... Uh, at a haven. All right. Uh, you may discard any number of cards in your hand to reduce the damage uh, by one for each shield icon. If you reduce the damage to zero, gain a favor and receive training twice. Well, uh, that is not going to happen. Wow, Argolad tries to escape after uh, he tries to get to a vacation spot to rest after having a uh, epic battle with the Mouth of Sauron, only to be battered and beaten by a troll. And so he is defeated. Uh, he is defeated now. And the first thing uh, we need to do when we have defeated heroes uh, is let me just consult the rules and we'll be right back to conclude Argolad's uh, beating and defeating here. All right, so the first thing that happens when a hero is defeated is the leftmost Sauron token moves one space towards the finale. So that's going to be the black helmet symbol. It's going to move one space along the track. Um, the other thing that is needs to happen is um, the hero needs to lose either one item or one favor. Well, Argolad has no items and two favor. He is going to lose one of them for being battered. And now he goes to the nearest um, haven to recover. I believe the nearest haven is either the Woodland Realm or Erebor. 
Uh, and I think it is Sauron's choice, so he's going to stuff Argolat up here at Erebor, because it's one, two spaces away, Woodland Realms two, and I don't think anything else is closer. No, it's not. So he's up to Erebor, uh, and the last thing is we take all of his <clears throat> cards and shuffle them together. So, um, he had a ton of cards in his damage pool, a ton of cards in his rest pool, no cards left in his life pool. So I'm just taking all of those cards, we're just going to shuffle them all together. Um, and that's going to now make his life pool afresh. So he's all refreshed <laughs> up at Erebor, visiting with the dwarves. Wow, okay, that is the end of Argolad's turn. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Join me next time when we get back to Sauron doing his evil things in Middle-earth. It will be Sauron's turn nine. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>